Well, as Florida looks to rebound, the governor has now cited several different metrics to justify reopening, and the message has evolved over time, as have the numbers. Capitol reporter Four Saunders tonight taking a closer look at one data point that's getting a lot of attention and why it doesn't tell you the complete picture. We will get Florida back on its feet. Since Governor DeSantis started reopening the state in May, he's used different metrics to justify the plan. Low daily case totals. You're consistently seeing lower numbers. Small positivity percentages. have been under 10%. Or a drop in hospitalizations. So that's a 50% reduction. Weeks later, those metrics have all started trending higher. DeSantis pointing to more available testing, but also younger populations. He began focusing on a new metric, the median age. The median age. Age is, is really significant. A decline in the median age. Look how that median age has really gone down. The data point tells us the age that's right in the middle of all the state's COVID cases. The lower it is, the more young people testing positive. The governor labeling it good news as the young are often better able to tolerate the virus. The lower that number is, um, really the fewer clinical consequences. In April, the median age had been hovering in the 50s. As metrics improved and the state shut down, the number had plummeted by June. 32, 33, meaning that about half the people were younger than 32, 33. Florida international epidemiologist Mary Jo Trepka has been keeping a close eye on median age. It's dip, she says, likely influenced by better testing, but also young people socializing as the state reopened. Going to bars and, and having parties. The hope was the virus would stay in those more tolerant age groups. It didn't. Young people are not uh, only in contact with other young people. State data now shows, compared to a month ago, the median age has jumped nearly 10 years, hovering between 41 to 42. With Florida remaining open, this was the risk, Trepka says. We are going to be seeing um, more people that are going to be hospitalized and more people are likely to die. Florida officials did try to slow the spread last month, suspending drinking at bars. DeSantis is also making more pleas for people to follow CDC guidance. Meanwhile, as median age remains higher, the slide has started disappearing from the governor's news conferences, replaced now by different metrics, including hospital capacity. But that data is still easily found online. You can find median age under the testing section on those daily state reports. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.